First one we'll say praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the Akim pushing this word in sincerity and truth. This is Kazakh from GMS Jamaica. I mean, um, giving our praises to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, or the man who the world ignorantly call um, Jehovah. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, whom the world called Jesus Christ. I mean, peace and blessings to the elect. Alright, so this lesson, I'm gonna name this lesson Riches. Alright, um, it's basically coming from um, the inspiration, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, um, came from a video, you know, I mean, by another brother who I was um, listening this morning. Um, the Akiaramia from um, our camp, Jamaica camp, right? Um, yeah, so um, that lesson inspired to the spirit, inspired me to do this lesson. You know what I mean, and uh, basically, what we do was just look up, um, uh, just did a Google search on how does money um, affect the mind, right? Or how money affect the way you think and them thing there. Right and uh, this article basic get this article along with a few other few others but um I believe that this one really this one really has more um how would I say more spirituality behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this one would have more fit for the lesson. Right? No um we just I gotta get right into the article, you know what I mean, and then um and then uh, read bring out scriptures as them come about. Um, so the article comes from, what's this, the, the Greater Good magazine, right, uh, Science Based Insights for a Meaningful Life, and the article is entitled, How Money Changes the Way You Think and Feel, right, uh, research is uncovering how wealth impacts our sense of morality or relationships with, uh, with ships with others and our mental health All right by Caroline Gregoire uh, 8th of February 2018 and it, the article going into the article it says the term affluenza a portmanteau a portmanteau of affluence and influenza so like, yeah. of uh, um all right so this is the meaning of the word portmanteau just giving it some time to come up all right it says a large traveling bag leather also we're blending these sounds and combining the meanings of two others for example Okay, uh, get it. I got it. All right, so yeah, affluenza is a combination of two words basically made up word. All right, so it says the term affluenza, a portmanteau of affluence and influenza, defined as a, a painful, contagious, socially transmitted condition of overload, debt, debt anxiety, and waste. Uh, resulting from the dogged pursuit of more, right? Um, yeah, resulting from the dog. Okay, let's let me read it again. It says it is defined as a painful, contagious, socially transmitted condition of overload, debt, anxiety, and waste, resulting from the dogged pursuit of more, right? is often dismissed as a silly buzzword created to express our cultural disdain of consumerism. Though often used in jest, the term may contain more truth than many of us would like to think. Whether affluenza is real or imagined, money really does change everything as the song goes. And those of high social class do tend to see themselves differently than others. <coughs> Wealth and the pursuit of it has been linked with immoral behavior. So like, yeah. All right. Wealth and the pursuit of it has been linked with immoral behavior. 
and not just in movies like the Wolf of Wall Street. And that is true, you know, that is true, right? Well, um, and a lot of people supposed to know this, you know what I mean? A lot of people supposed to know that um, these celebrities had to go through a lot of, a lot of crap to reach where they're at, right? For, 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 for attain the status where them there. You know what I mean? If you have the fame and the and the wealth with them of, or the riches with them of, you know what I mean? It's a lot of immoral things them that I forgot to, right? And being being at that um stage, um is a lot of immoral things you have to do as well. Not just not just not just the, the whole um uh, what you call it? The, not just the whole Illuminati initiation and you know the 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 initiation of lodges and all of them things they about you as an individual. You know what I mean? You will find yourself start do immoral things and start draw to immoral things. You know what I mean? Like for example, like for example, who have more who have more um mileage than a celebrity female? You know what I mean? Just just sit down like. Like um where do you watch a video, you know what I mean, and it like them literally I list out all of Halle Berry's exes, right? And it was a long it was a very long list, yo. You know what I mean? These female celebrities, them have a, them have very high mileage when it comes to um relationships, right? You have the man them we, 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 we basically start the immoral things as well. Right, even even politicians find themselves um doing certain immoral things, right? Like a lot of organized crime, drug trade, and on them them look at something there controlled by politicians are so called celebrities, yo. Yep, believe it or not, you know what I mean. Um, continuing, it says, oh, as a matter of fact. Just, let me check some first before we continue. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So this is Ecclesiastes. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, yeah. This Ecclesiastes 10, and I'm gonna go to verse 5. It says, There is evil. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceeded from the ruler. Right? Um, folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. Can't. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, in, yes, indeed, folly is um, set in great dignity, yo. You know what I mean? Because a lot of uh, some old, a lot of nastiness get promoted by celebrities and um and so called rich people, wealthy people, right? Starting from the so called white man, the elite, right? Which is the owner of all wealth on the earth. Like him literally the so called white man literally own the the, um, the earth, believe it or not. You know what I mean? Them literally own, them control everything that take place in the world, yo, in the earth. Right? So, them literally own it. You know what I mean? And them are the one, them, all of them immoral things that we see, I get pushed and I get, um, and I get legalized. And them in control of all of that. Right? So, beginning with them, you know what I mean? Folly is set um, for control over, for, 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 um, for go th right throughout the world. Right? Which is why the scriptures continue to say, yo, continually say, Right, the whole earth, right, is full of wickedness, yo. Right, the, the scriptures continually point out that the world, the world is corrupt, basically. Right, continuing the article, um, psychologists who study the impact of wealth and inequality on human behavior have found that money can powerfully influence our thoughts and actions in ways that we're often not aware of. No matter our economic circumstances, Although wealth is certainly subjective, most of the current research measures wealth on scales of income, job status, or socioeconomic circumstances, 
like educational attainment and intergenerational wealth, right? All right, and um, here are seven things you should know about the psychology of money and wealth, all right? So the first one is more money, less empathy. Several studies have shown that wealth may be at odds with empathy and compassion. Research published in the journal um, Psychological Science right, uh, found that people of lower economic status were better at reading others' facial expressions, an important mark of empathy than wealthier people. Right, so in so in um so in a nutshell, you know what I mean, um majority of people who are wealthy are rich, you know what I mean them see themselves as um at a higher status, right? And them don't see themselves as them basically don't see themselves as obligated to feel sorry for people, you know, them see themselves at the top. You know what I mean? So them rather them rather to be to get um them rather forget compassion than forgive compassion, you know? right? Them rather you for feel sorry for them than them feel sorry for you, right? And when them do do things for other people, yo, them like to be them like to be seen when them do things, yo, right? That's a, that's why a lot of these celebrities whenever them do um um these celebrities and social media influencers whenever them do something for people, just look. You always go see them video it. Alright? And then you go have them come and say, yo, them come for justify the reason why them video it. Like, oh, them just assure them blessing. Alright? Them just assure say, yo, them can bless people. Come on. Alright? If you do something for somebody, you don't need to show it to the world, yo. You know what I mean? The world don't need to know, say, yo, that person you did in that situation, and like you are the one who take them out. You know what I mean? When really and truly it's not you, it's the Lord the how about Shemia was shy. See? So basically, yeah, the basically when them do that, right? Them are, them are have the glory go to themselves because what them say. And where a lot of people say, God bless them for bless the person. Right? That's not how it works, yo. See? All praises go to the Lord the how about Shemia was shy. None other. You don't take glory for yourself, yo. Alright. Um, continuing. It says, a lot of what we see is a baseline orientation for the lower class to be more empathetic and the upper class to be less. To be less so. Um, study, co-author Michael Cross told Time, um, lower class environments are much different from upper class environments. Lower class individuals have to respond chronically to a number of vulnerabilities and social threats. You really need to depend on others so they will tell you if a social threat or opportunity is coming and that makes you more perceptive of emotions. Right, so basically when you're at the bottom, you help, basically, in me, in most cases, you know what I mean, you are going to have people at on the lower end, you know what I mean, look out for each other, you know what I mean, or for show each other a certain level of respect, right? And still showing that that level of respect, you know what I mean, to the ones at the top. Well, sometimes, well, in most cases, they are going to show the ones them at the top more respect, see? And the ones them at the top are going to only show the ones them uh, in a freedom circle, respect and who is above them. Seen? Alright, um, not to make this, no, I don't want to make that video too long either, so let's just jump to the next top, topic. It says, uh, wealth can cloud moral judgment, right? And as we read before in um, Ecclesiastes here, you know, I mean, folly is set in great dignity, yo, and a lot of people do things in order to attain. Um, wealth or forget gain, right? Mm. Um, and it and it reads, it is no surprise in this post two thousand and eight world, um, to learn that wealth may cause a sense of moral entitlement, right? A UC Berkeley study found that in San Francisco, where the law requires that cars stop at crosswalks for pedestrians to cross, 
uh, drivers of luxury cars were four times less likely than those in less expensive vehicles to stop and allow pedestrians the right of way. They were also more likely to cut off other drivers. Yes. Right. And you see that, you see that, you see that um, in front of your face, daily upon the road. Right. A man with in a theme Benz or in BMW. Right. Or in, 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 um, in Tesla or whatever luxury vehicle him of. You know what I mean? Him got less likely for sure other people respect on the road. Right. Him got cut you off. He not going to gain a blight for come across the road and all of them something there, yo. See, they not, they, 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 they not going to gain no blight for come through, right? They not going to put it, and in, and, um, because something like this happened before, you know what I mean, to one of our brother, them. See, you're you going to have them, uh, because for them vehicle, or uh, this, or uh, Benz, or uh, whatever, you know what I mean, you're going to find them, Say yo, you know, say yo, when you're up on the main road and somebody else has come off, you have the right away because they're on the main. You know what I mean? But them, because of for them status, them feel like say yo, them for just shoot out them car and you for just give them way for go to you. You know what I mean? And enough cases you see that happen and you know, damage go on. You see me? Things get damaged. You know what I mean? And what? Because them have the money, them can just fix it back. But you, as a little man, you have to go wait for insurance to fix your vehicle. It will take forever. You know what I mean? Ah, so okay. Yeah. Alright, so going to the next one. Alright, wealth has been linked with addiction. While money itself doesn't cause addiction or substance abuse, wealth has been linked with a higher susceptibility to addiction problems. A number of studies have found that affluent children are more vulnerable to substance abuse issues, potentially because of high pressure to achieve and isolation from parents. Can, yeah, that, that, take a, that take place a lot. You know what I mean? That, that take place because um, a lot of these drugs where them take, I, I feel like anxiety, um, anxiety, um, depression and all of them thing they are and them so and in most cases it becomes a thing where them always have to take them and I take them and I take them so till them after a while them become a, um, addicted to it yo them start abuse it see alright um, studies have found that kids who come from wealthy parents aren't necessarily exempt from adjustment problems in fact, research found that on several measures of maladjustment, high school students of high socioeconomic status received higher scores than inner city students. Researchers found that these children may be more likely to internalize problems which which has been linked with substance abuse. Right? And um let's see. Uh, yeah, money itself can become addictive. We all know this. Um, uh, Alright, here's one. It says, we tend to seek money and power in our pursuit of success. And who doesn't want to be successful after all? But it may be getting in the way of the things that really matter. Happiness and love. Right, there is no direct correlation between income and happiness. After a certain level of income, that can take care of basic needs and relieve some strain. Some say fifty thousand a year, some say seventy-five. Right, wealth makes hardly any difference to overall well-being and happiness, and if anything, only harms well-being. Extremely affluent people actually suffer from higher rates of depression. Right, some data has suggested money itself doesn't lead to dissatisfaction. Instead, it's the ceaseless striving for wealth and material possessions that may lead to unhappiness. Right, can you know? What I mean, Big, hey, um, biggest small say it, yo, more money, more problems. Right, the more money you get, or the more wealth you get, you know, what I mean, or the more problems you have. Right, the more, the more enemies you have to make. The more so-called friends they are gonna make, right? The more um, 
the more people I go want from you. See? The more the more the government I go want from you. You know what I mean? And and with all of that, yeah, yeah still because you have to do all of that and I give you away, right? It it I go push you for actually want to get more yo. See? So yeah, yeah, more money, more problems, yo. And as the as the article I say, yo, look, it's not necessarily the it's not necessarily um having money that cause unhappiness, but is the it's it says the ceaseless striving for wealth and material possession that may lead to unhappiness, yo. Like what Solomon say, yo, all is vanity, you know what I mean, and vexation a spirit. See? So the more the more you try to push for some vain things, yo. When you finally get it, I realize, say, yo, I did want this for. Or, this is it? Is this it? You know what I mean? Right? And guess what? Going back to the, to the, to the, to the top where it says um, morality, where it mentions morality, yo. You know what I mean? A lot of people lose their morals for money. Right? And then when they finally get the, pos- the, the material things, them, you know what I mean? It not suffice. Right, so and therefore, it caused them to f- f- become um abusers of certain substances. Seen, hey, the spirit, espe- hey, especially if you grew up as a child star, you you come up as a child actor, yo. You know what I mean? Because me see a lot of child actors, yo, where me, where in a where you where in a my age group, yo. So my age group, you know what I mean? Me I watch them. Like um um let me see now Corey from that so the whole that so raven cast cast right um who else in other some other look at you know things that we used to watch as youths growing up some other look at um celebrities and actors uh, right if you look upon them no you know what I mean a lot of them become drug abusers a lot of them get um even abused by producers and co actors and co stars and whatever yo. You know what I mean? Enough of them get abused, right? And some of them end up have to turn to certain drugs, certain um substances. So when they look upon them now uh, and versus how them used to look before yo, them them look they messed up. See they messed up. You know what I mean? And and even them parents, yo, right? Because hey, when them when them become successful, um are them parents basically in control of them, right? And because them parents the greed and the wants of them parents, you know what I mean, them 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 get forced for just for, 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 for gus of booms and just bear certain things. You know what I mean? Not for them not for them parents allow them to get molested, yo. Right? Because what? Them are gonna get them them are gonna get them are basically I get an income or them are gain some money off of it. So yo, they'll stick the little touch up and you know that not for them parents do. Right? Um it says some data has suggested um money itself doesn't lead to dissatisfaction. Instead it's the ceaseless striving for wealth and material possessions that may lead to unhappiness. Materialistic values have even been linked with lower relationship satisfaction. Hey, that's true. That is true. I mean point out point out if you point on these celebrities, you know what I mean? Most of them relationships only last for like a few months, maybe a year, maybe two to maybe three to four years. You know what I mean? As me mentioned before, a lot of the females them them don't have a steady relationship, yo. Seen? Them don't have a steady relationship, you know what I mean? Them just a move from them them dick hopping, yo. Dick jumping. Or dick hopping, whatever. Seen? Them a move from man to man. And mo- and in, in a lot of cases, right, at the same man the same celebrity them. You know what I mean? Just a hop round from celebrity to celebrity. See, I we, we need even go men- we need even go mention um we need even go mention the thoughts the the black china and the you know we need even go mention them because them know them known for that. See, 
But like the so the the so the other celebrities them man were coming on movies and you know all you know looking fine and you know wifeable and all of them thing there. Come they them run through yo. All of them run through. All of them. Yeah, you see me? Because so them they might feel like them have little value because yeah, them net worth is this amount of money and them have this and them own that. But really and truly, they don't have no value. You yes, see me? When they check it out, they don't really have no value like that. Right? They have possessions, but they ain't got no value, yo. Right? Because they run through. A woman's supposed to be a precious thing, yo. Right? A woman's supposed to be precious. Right? And the less man she sleep with, the more precious she be. Right? Which is one, which is one man. You know what I mean? From she from she got two man, she done. From she got two, she ran through yo. Yep. Um uh, Alright, so this is another article from a different um website called Money Crushers. Alright, uh, let's see, this says Um Ways Money Affect Behavior. Alright, social and business value. Self sufficiency and service, right? Um, self view. Um, this says the amount of the amount you earn could have an effect on how you view yourself and others, right? A study published in an August 2013 issue of the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology asks individuals to rate things such as class, genetics, and even IQ. When the results were analyzed, they were defined as an individual's sense of class essentialism. The idea of differences between classes are based upon identity and genetics rather than circumstance. Um, uh, ethics, right? Ethics, addiction. Um, okay, that's the end. All right. Yeah, this article basically going at the same thing, you know. Um, in, in ethics, it says, when doing your taxes, do you report them perfectly or do you think it's acceptable to fudge the numbers a bit? <laughs> a 2012 study published in an issue of Proceedings of the National Academy of Science of the United States of America asked, if wealth and perception of a higher class would increase an individual's involvement in unethical behavior and the answer is yes yeah a lot of a lot of people we see um in a higher class higher status you know them them unfair to others right they move them them carry themselves above the rest you know i mean them see themselves above the rest and I mean, but anyways, um, going at that, I'm going at some scriptures now. And I mean, and this is James. This is James 5 and verse 1. And it says, Go to know, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is, con is conquered. Um, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and ye sh and shall eat your flesh as it as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept backed by fraud, crieth and cries of them which have reaped are entered in the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Um, this is the word conquered. It's a destructive fungal disease of apple and other trees that result in damage of the bark. Right? So, yeah, it's a fungal disease. You know what I mean? Basically, it's going into... Basically, yeah, the riches, you know what I mean? We are store up seeing. I got eventually... Um, yeah, I got eventually dead left it, yo. All right, I got rotten for you. Right, it says, and the rest of them shall be witnessed against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. 
So look at for the last days, behold the eye of the laborers who have reaped down your fields. Yeah. And hey, a lot of a lot of people, you know what I mean, do this for real. You know what I mean? You have rich people where them have laborers we help prepare we them use to help prepare themselves for for the future or prepare themselves for a rainy day, you know, or just help them gain them wealth overall. You know what I mean? And guess what? Them keep all of the profits to themselves, yo. Right? All of the proceeds go to themselves. Right? Even, 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 um, um, ch these charities. You believe, don't be, don't be fooled that, um, these, them charity donations uh, are getting no money like that. You know what I mean? Majority of the charity donations go back, go in at the pockets, um, at the rich, yo. See, and guess what? Um, uh, what you call it? Um, and me recently find out, say, yo, look, whenever like you have like certain charity events, you know what I mean, and them are like them are raise funds for take care of certain things. Whenever them reach, whenever them reach the amount where them need for take care of whatever them are gonna take care of for the charity, you know what I mean. Best believe that what else left a straight in them pocket it go yo. Right? So don't be fooled when you hear charity event and you just, you, oh, yeah, pay one little five, you know, one 500 Jamaican dollar or, you know, one 50 US dollar or one 10 US dollar for, for join or, you know, as, pro, as proceeds to the cause. You know what I mean? After them reach that amount, after them reach the amount where them need, everything is going to them pocket, yo. Everything now go towards, um, the institution are the are the charity seen yeah um it says behold the eye of the laborers who have reaped on your fields which is of you kept back by fraud crieth and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the lord of sabbath right now this is james again chapter 2 and verse verse 2 it says, for if there come unto you, unto your assembly a man with a gold ring in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there. You know, hey, and as, as the, uh, even what I said before in that, about the article, yo, uh, when we read the article, say, yo, look, um, you gotta have, you gotta always find the lower class a show respect to the higher class. You know what I mean? In most cases, you know what I mean? Them, them we show respect to each other in the lower class, but when once it comes to the higher class, yo, you know what I mean? Them are gonna always show, or in most cases, them are gonna show more respect to them in the higher status, yo. See? Um, again, it says, Stand out there or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Arken, my beloved brethren, hath not the most I chosen the poor of this world rich in faith? Seeing, hey, so nobody I feel all of them people I feel like say, yo, rich people are gonna be saved or them are gonna go heaven. Seeing, well, uh, I mean. According to the scriptures, when you die, that's where you go. Everybody go there when them die. You know what I mean? Pursuing, um, going back to going back to, uh, Job, I believe it's chapter four, or chapter seven. See, everybody when everybody die, them go right back into the heavens. That's where everybody go to rest, yo. See. Uh, Yeah, chapter three, Job chapter three, all right. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, so yeah, the most I choose the poor, yo, right? The just check, just check it. The most I always go for the lowest, the lowliest of men, yo, right? The meekest. Seeing and guess what? The Lord Yahweh me our shaga put um Israel on top, beginning with the elect. You know what I mean? I right now, the elect, the whole, all Israel suffer, yo. You know what I mean? 
But the elect of the Lord, yo, them, the most I have them upon the low. Right? So when them get glorified, yo, right, them are going to actually appreciate the glory. You know what I mean? Because when they're low, because when they're low and get put up on a higher status, yo, or you have to, no, you have to experience the bad in order to, to appreciate the good. Right? You see me? It's, a, it's all a part of the balance, yo. See, you have to, you have to low if you understand what it is to be high. You know what I mean? Um, it says, rich in faith and hears of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him. Um, and this is now. Uh, let's see here. Um, right, this is proverb. Right, this is Proverbs um, 10 and verse 2. It says, treasures of wickedness profit nothing. But righteousness delivereth from death. Can't. And yeah, so all of them um so them so called celebrities here where them were claim to say oh, oh them do donate to charities and them give to the biggest of charities and them give this money to the, the that naga profit yo because the way you gain it in the first place, you know what I mean? Um the way you gain it in the first place, you go is basically goes against the Lord, yeah, about Shimmy Aushai. Yeah? Because where you get it from? You get it from the so called white man. You get it from the so called white man. You know what I mean? And you literally have to show your respect. You have to you have to show um your your what you call it now. Um you have to pay a homage. Um what's that word? What's that word? Um basic, basically you have to you have to you have to do the so called white man's will. You know what I mean? In order to gain in a theme society because it's a theme system, yo. I him make you rich. Through the the Lord yeah, the Lord yeah, oh, boy, she, oh, she, I don't want to give the riches, yo. You know what I mean? But um but him do it to the so called white man. You know what I mean? If you have an ear to hear, let them hear. See, the most I set up the so called white man to issue out the riches because the world is given into the hands of the wicked, yo. See, and the so called white man is the wicked, right? So anything you gain in this world, yo, you know what I mean? Especially when you become like a number one, number one actor, number one rapper, musician. Anything at all, you have to go through the hands of the so called white man. Forget, forget that. Yeah? You don't, him don't just lift you up just so. You have to have a part in everything. Um, uh, this is James Matthew. Alright, alright, so this is the parable of the young man. Alright, this is the, the, the young man. Um, Um, uh, let's go back to here. All right, so this the young man says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments, he saith unto him, which Yahweh Shai said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahweh I said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, 
for he had great possessions. Hey, this young, him, him lack faith, yo. And a lot of people will have, will make it in this life, yo. Will have them consolation in this life. Them lack faith. Right? And I see him here when, um, it, Salakia. And I see him here, if them, for, if them ears say, yo, them for give up all of them riches, forget, for gain, um, salvation, them are going to find it hard, yo. Right? Because them don't have the faith of your Bashim your shy. Seeing? Which is why the most I go to the lowly because it's easier to find faith among the lowly than to find faith among the rich. Yeah? And and overall at the Lord Yahweh Bashim I gotta give I gotta give it anyway. Seeing? And now um I get one more scripture in a Matthew. For the, for the for these so called rich cause yeah when people when them um, when them do certain things eh, them always like to be seen of men which is why them always go video it and post it alright so so and um yeah thinking that them are gonna get a blessing for help somebody Yes, the Lord, the Lord may the Lord, the Lord may give a blessing for help. See, the Lord may give a blessing if, it, if um for help uh, like say uh, the prophets them. Yes, the prophets them in the highways and the byways. You know the son of prophesy. Yes, all right. Some water. Give the prophets them. Yeah, you are gonna get remembered for that, yo. You see me? See him like and you how shall I say it? You see me? Anything we do for the you do for you, him prophets them. And him servants, them you do for him. You know what I mean? So you're going to get rewarded. Right? But when you're going to do it now, in a, in a for sure, you're, the, you're the basically just do it for sure and for say, oh, oh, God bless me, so I can. You ain't getting a blessing from the most of you. Right? Because first thing first, no found a wickedness on our do. No found a wicked as hell. Yeah? No found a man and woman where, where, where feel like, say, a blessed and a blessed. The most I go on 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 um consolation early for on a destroy on self. Yeah, cause no found a commit adultery, no found a commit idolatry. Is it me? No found a eat um swine's flesh. On a feel on don't feel like say yo, them thing they no matter no more yo. See, once you once you go against the law, statutes and and judgment. And that that's why we that's why we in the predicament over there in the first place because we did that do them thing there yo. You see me? So you feel like say, um, yeah, the most I go bless you, and you go continue to do them. You see me? Don't get the most, don't get your how about shimmy how shy confused with sweet Jesus, and uh, 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 and and loving Jehovah. See, the most I is not like them, right? The most is not is not a man where we only can take for fool. Yeah, the most is not a kunumuno as uh, uh, as them say. Yeah. Anyways, this is Matthew 6 and 1. It says, Take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. That's plain and straight. Right? Don't, do it. Don't give people things and a video it. Or I say, oh, come look for me. I give this man something. Or I feed the poor. Or, you know? You do it out of you do it out of the kindness of your own heart, not to be seen or for gain some form of likes and status. That no, that no make it, yo. Alright, it says, therefore, when thou doest thine arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest arms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Thy, do um, that thine arms may be in secret, and thy father which see it in secret, himself shall reward thee openly. And that's it. Yeah. Um. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. And I mean, once say our praises again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakodash double honors to the apostles of Great and Stone and shalom to the Akiyam pushing this word in sincerity and in truth.